Greetings, free people across the earth. Greetings. God be the glory to the most high creator of nature. Be the glory. Give thanks and praise to the mystic laws of the universe and its protective functions and forces in nature. Guide our thoughts and our path in our ways that are lawful that and positive. We do give thanks and praise. Jamaica Road Traffic Act, 1st of April, 1938. Let me say what is first is truest. That's one of those maxims out there. So here we are share part one interpretation section to get the interpreter driver. Driver, where a separate person act as steerman for motor vehicle, including that person as well as any other person engaging the driving of the vehicle. And the expression drive shall be construed accordingly. Now, when them said to drive, we're not going to use a legal definition and all of that. We're just going to use it according to how it should be construed. So I say, Anybody where is a steerman behind a motor vehicle, put it that way. Now with a breakdown motor vehicle. Motor vehicle means any mechanical propelled vehicle intended or adapted for use on roads. And that is motor vehicle. Now it's a owner. Owner means the person for the time being in whose name any motor vehicle or trailer is registered, that's the owner. Go down a little further. Part two, regulation of motor vehicle, section 11, classification of motor vehicle. It's a motor vehicle shall for the purpose of this act and regulations, not law, made there under be divided into following classes. So then I break down motor vehicle into classes. And you have A, B, C, D. So I use D, which is a private motor car. That is to say, motor vehicle, whether truck or motor cars within the meaning of this section, not being vehicles classified as commercial motor cars. Not classified as commercial motor cars. So here we talk about motor vehicle. We talk about private motor cars. Now we are talking about commercial motor cars. So this private motor car, which would be the classification where my pro box would be. Not being vehicles classified as commercial motor vehicle, constructed solely for the carriage of passengers, may not necessarily have passenger me alone rule, and their effects and use exclusively for personal, not private. Personal purposes. So my private motor car, according to this document, or I call my private automobile, or I call my automobile personal property. According to the private motor cars, that is to say, motor vehicle, whether truck or motor cars, within the meaning of this section. Not being vehicles classified as commercial. I keep telling you people I'm outside of your commerce. This is why when you give me a charge, four counts. 
we have said no driver's license, no valid certificate of registration, no valid certificate of fitness, and no insurance coverages. That's the four charges I say in that statement from Officer Morgan, or for whatever reason, the senior sergeant could not articulate or write the statement as the senior sergeant, as I've been here before. And the three officers that told me when I was in town, Kingston, all three officers gave a statement. And the senior officer, who was a detective sergeant, he also gave a statement. So it is interesting when I say I went today to pick up the discovery and I see it is dated on the 3rd of May 2023 and I was falsely arrested. Lawfully arrested and falsely imprisoned on May the 2nd. So, Officer Morgan wrote this statement on the 3rd. I went to court for a hearing. Well, in fact, it was a administrative hearing on the 17th, and I was not presented with this disclosure. I was not given a charge at the time. So I guess this statement is where the charge is. And I'll, I'll make a tape and present that information later. But it is just interesting to hear the clerk today. I'll let me know it's a criminal matter. It's traffic. It's a criminal matter. That's what she said. You have to wait on a criminal line. You know, civil and I'm of criminal. And they gave me a criminal number saying it's a criminal case. And as such, I would like to know where in law no driver's license. No certificate of it, registration, no certificate of fitness, and no insurance. Where in the law does it stipulate that this is a crime? For the last time I checked, for any matter to be a crime, there has to be a victim or a postelectee. There has to be a victim of the crime. And I would like to know if. Officer Morgan has been victimized or senior sergeant has been victimized or the other officer has been victimized. I would like them to show me where and when did this crime occur. That would be interesting. That is just YouTube discussion. I tell you it's like therapy for me. I won't approach this case like how I did the first and you get information and not know. At the get go, the senior sergeant of police. And by extension, the subordinates under him need to present his delegation of authority because I'm saying he's acting without authority. And in fact, we 
outside the scope of whatever powers they may resume only because there is what is called the common law or the supreme law of the land which is the constitution and within that constitution there is a charter which is a contract a charter of fundamental rights and freedoms assented by the head of state governor general's office and that is the supreme law of jamaica now with this statutory slash administrative slash commercial law as something else that's what is called color of law and the very constitution dictates that you have to observe and respect rights and dignity of people why we have the human rights charter when them say you have to maintain and you not know, respect the human rights that's what i'm talking about and that charter of fundamental human rights and freedoms guarantees The protection of the people. The state, no organ of the state can abridge, abrogate, or infringe upon the people's fundamental rights and freedoms. And this is why I said present the delegation of authority that authorize you to break the law. But the can say, you stop me. Why you stop me? I'll present an image showing my pro box exactly how it is. They're going to see two government plates on the front. And they're going to see a traveler plates on the dashboard. And within the statement, we are going to read where Officer Morgan, because I did not conversate with Officer Morgan per se, I conversate with Officer Porter. You understand? And the senior sergeant of police take control. Officer Morgan was mute all along. All Officer Morgan was saying, You want to go to court and wear his jacket. So when Officer Morgan write this statement, then I won't say nothing. Because, you know, at the get-go, we are challenged the authority. What we must presume, we are challenged. You have no authority. You're outside of law. I'm not a party to your private agency. And when he said, I renounce my Jamaican citizenship, in fact, I did just that. Yeah, man, and I won't have a problem placing a copy of that certified fact upon that administrative hearing. Yeah, man administrative adjudication yes that's what it is today i must say the spanish town court office was a three hour wait Probably wasn't as bad as you know the people on the red there at least an hour. Yeah, so it was a proper. Yeah, yeah. 
stress about that. And when I finally get to the desk, the lady does hand me this statement that this officer wrote from the third of me. I'm just getting it at this closure. So I'm quite sure it is impossible to get a fear and impartial inquiry in this setting. Yeah, totally impossible. Outside of me placing a suit from the public record. Yeah, man. So, uh, these police officers I totally comprehend the state of condition. I'm not here to undermine or even embarrass the system. But this is my personal situation. This is my platform where I can express my views and opinion freely. Yeah, man. I may not have a problem, I share a problem with. Clerk was really out of order when she gave me that paper. That for Oxford. What's the name of the judge? She said she don't know. Like, is there a prosecutor? Is there a case number? I don't know. Now me that for really get assertive people. A bit loud. And I said, I just went to court May 17th. Actually, I think, are you going to tell me there is no docket number or case number? And this is when we get loud and so she start writing. And she writes something SC 2023. One zero zero five zero six, something like that. And then she write one, two, three, four, that are the three, four charges for them, so them are bring, which is criminal, without a victim. And if it's civil, present the contract, present any underlying contract. Now, if it's criminal, present the victim, the corpus delecti. Present the man or woman that I have injured or damaged or caused harm to for it to be a crime. Yeah, but none of these police officers. But they are, in fact, policy enforcers. Because if they cannot present their delegation of authority, that the Constitution itself authorized them to abrogate, infringe. Our lives, our inherent dignity as man, and then our person as our property or or that persona where everybody has said the government own or whatever them saying. I'm saying that title belongs to me, and if it's a trust property, then I have to be the beneficiary. Older. And you people are just a public trustee, if there is any such thing. But it's neither here nor there. Just tell me how, where, and when this police group of three men can just arbitrarily make a legal determination on the street side. Then I say, all right, you care of all kind of infraction. I'm going to give you three days or five days according to law. So bring some paperwork or we have to um, give you a warrant or a notice and, you know, have been at a court for come do what you have to do. They didn't do none of that. 
the senior sergeant of police that now we can prove because if he could read and write, he would actually a command and his name would be there because he was actually on the location. I noticed that, you know, I don't get a statement from Officer Porter, who is a gentleman, respectable man out there, my respect. The respect of uh, your, your, your employed men. I salute you, Officer Porter. Now, Officer Morgan, who was mute, all him there was hugging up him rifle, trying to be intimidating. All of a sudden, this guy can write. And when you guys see how this guy writes, yeah, yeah. You know, they're not type anything. So I will have to create a handwritten document and place upon this page. And I'll demonstrate that I might not as write as fancy as. Officer Morgan, but it should be legible enough for people to comprehend, not necessarily understand. Yeah, man. So now I forgot to bring my information later. Uh, when you see my place that document on here, that's not an issue. It will be the very same thing. Yes. According to law, you guys kidnapped me. Yeah, man. And then you stole my property. Yeah, man. And in order for me to get out of here through coercion, The rest. We are call it unfair influence or undue influence. I had to sign a recognizance bond where I sign as a surety. I place my mark as the prisoner. I don't see anybody else's bond on the table. So if I have that surety, then it belongs to me. And I would like to know, because I will be at every court case. I ain't going anywhere. I want to know when will I get that money from that bond, that 100000 bond. Is it at the end of the case? I'm just curious. Again, part four. Regulation of a commercial motor car. Seventy eight said. Subject to the provision of this part, no person shall use a commercial motor car on a road for the carriage of goods, A, for hire, or reward, or B, for or in connection with any trade or business carried on by him, except under licenses. And I'm of in this act referred to as a carrier's license. Now, this is all commerce, because it's a regulate commercial motor car, not if you do with a private motor car who is outside of commerce. Simply enough. Now, this is an interesting part. For the purpose of this part and the regulations, Need zero under a the expression commercial motor car means a motor vehicle constructed, adapted, 
for use for the carriage of goods and any other motor vehicle, including tractor and trailers, use in connection with or in the furtherance of any private or business undertaking. If it's a public, it's a private or business undertaking. So when it's a personal, it's separate and distinct from being private. So we use personal, provided that a vehicle used by its owner, by its owner, my vehicle is in my wallet in here. Understand? So after that, make sure we get that confirmed and fix that. That we may avoid this mess. So when I not deal with me, I don't know my property card and name says so simple. Anyway, provided that a vehicle used by its owner in the pursuit of his profession or business for his personal conveyance shall not be deemed to be a commercial motor car. You hear that? This is this section now. I saw you, I people say, the moment you have your vehicle and you own it, and all you do, pursue it of your profession, your God work, or your own business, for your personal convenience, shall not be deemed commercial motor, motor car. Listen to this part now. Provided further that a vehicle registered as a private motor car shall not be deemed to be a commercial motor car by reason only if its use as such in extraordinary circumstances. So you see, it's provided a vehicle used by its owner and further a vehicle registered as a private motor vehicle. So private is separate and distinct from, from, from personal. According to this document, people, you know what I mean? So, what does other work with the, the laws that are here? And these are from 1938. So, anything we amend now have to start from this. Anything we them up now have to start from this. And whatever we come before this. Hence, we start right here for. Honorable clarification and clarity. So I can't find no way where to say I should register my private motor car. You know what I mean? Because if you have a private motor car, when you just use it for the way you do, you're outside of commerce. But if you register your private motor car, then if you use it for extraordinary circumstances, they will come under this banner, a commercial motor car. So this is at least information where we are sharing us here. There is different classification. It's A, B, C, and this is D. Next time I might I don't want to mess with this. We present the Road Traffic Act for you people can look at. And just validate what we have said. Now it's say uh, B. The expression goods include goods or burden of any description in the expression carriage include haulage. C. When a commercial vehicle is being used on the road for the carriage of goods, the driver of the vehicle, if it belongs to him, or is in his possession under an agreement for hire, purchase, or loan, and in any other case, the 
person who is agent or servant, the driver is, or is deemed to be the person or own the vehicle, is being used. And remember, driver, you have no, have no fancy nothing to it, you know? You just a look for an according to us. That's the man we are steer. So the real, you know, so information is right here. Classification of motor vehicle, regulation of motor vehicle. We're not talk about commercial motor car. We're talk about motor vehicle. We're going to go A, B, C, D. Maybe they got all this. So here we go. The line up properly. All right. Eleven set A. Motor tractors, that is to say, motor vehicles which are not constructed themselves to carry any load other than the following articles, that is to say, water, fuel, accumulate, and other equipment used for the purpose of propulsion, loose tools, and loose equipment. B. That is to say, motor vehicle not being classified as any such as motor car. Which are constructed themselves to carry a load or passenger or both. Uh, use the commercial term passenger and no, we're not passenger, we're guests when we are moved. Or when we are moved, we're not drive, we are travel part of drive. We know say it's a commercial activity, but in a, this document, it's, it, it are defined it or it is interpreted as the man we are steer, the steer man behind the wheel. So they got it. The C, the say motor cars, that is to say, motor vehicle not being classified under this section as motorcycle or invalid carriages, which are constructed solely for the carriage of passenger exclusive of the driver to adapt, adapted to carry not more than seven passengers exclusive of the driver. So none of these things couldn't couldn't just have a motor car. We have to say private motor car. But outside of commerce, not a commercial motor car. It's a private motor car. It's you know its use is exclusive. You know, not being vehicle classified as commercial motor car, constructed solely for the carriage of guests <laughs> and their effect and use exclusively for personal purposes. So right there, may I show the item, sir? Personal property. You take away from me unlawfully. And within that process, you know, they will arrest me and give a notice to appear by way of a bond in order to please the juristic entity, that legal entity, that sold me. And I do not consent. However, as we move forward, so we touch upon all of this because it's a little small thing, but just basically, you know, a 
I look for and feed them, Lord, as what I'm having. Yes. You understand? Not just the federal rule. I look for and them. Administrative law. You understand? Administrative adjudication uh, as an agency. They can only adjudicate administratively you know, outside of what you consider court or judicial adjudication. That's what I'm calling court adjudication. So it's administrative adjudication, which is the color of law governed by statutes, because statutes create all agencies. Governmental entity is in fact an agency, irrespective of the name being used out there. Yeah, well, the step by step in a people. As they celebrate my fall, but never yield. We send gold and gray, Berman Street. Information. Yeah, no. Information. They are challenged. They are authority at the arrest. They are more outside of law. They have no authority. You understand? Number one, the senior sergeant of police are going to arrest me without even a warrant. Judge and then they might give me a recognizant bond outside of a court of record and outside of a titled hearing officer, administrative hearing officer. So them call the administrative law judge. We call it parish court judges now. It used to be resident magistrate. But as I go along, they might upgrade. But if you don't know the foundation of what is, then you're going to just get stuck with what they have. That's why it's important for we have documented evidence. Have some things in writing the ones can look at. Yeah, man. We have no jurisdiction. You have no authority. And I am not a registered agent. You understand? I am not that. The agent that is registered out there is that surety. And it have a name that look like mine. I don't claim that title. Yeah, no. So when I'm not administrative, you need permission. But as Officer Morgan would say in his charging instrument, which is his statement, or I guess or his statement to the charging instrument, you know what I mean? And I'm of a, I'm of a special expert skill in that department to make a legal determination. You know what I mean? Along with his senior sergeant of police. Uh, tell the man to read and write properly. And then I see him present anything. That is interesting. So there is no fear and it's impartial. Administrative adjudication here. I'm not going to get it. So I needed that for force the clerk to give me the information where she should give me once I ask me. Let me know so do I, you know. Something is wrong. I'm not going to even call up these people in the parish of the cross. I'm not going to judge give me a name. I'm not going to. Court clerk, I'm never even say I'm gonna be a woman, I see inside that place. 
I mean, never see a man. So I'm not even going to wear the dear name. If anything, I'm not going to show the statement. I just cover which part the lady does. You know? Jot down them name after. What they are demand. These things. These people are so nice. I used to. The regular man does come in and go through the regular process. And that is the norm. But now that a man is here, I look to challenge them jurisdiction, challenge them authority, challenge them control. This is a war, not no fear. As if you fill out this document, write this statement, and I and we want to hear. And I was not given this disclosure. It just tell me so I have to wait until when. It went from the 17th of May to the 28th, which is the day of the life. All this time, I now have access to my deed. And then now, I go straight into trial, September 27th. It is interesting. However, I'm going to share a share of that information while you are out of yeah, man, man, when we create my unwritten document, yeah, I'm going to make sure my cancer is done as usual, gaining my post master capacity. Yeah, what well, these people will ignore about that, you know what? Um, but this unwritten document, I'm going to place it in the public record, you know, not in my police or me. Yeah, man, I mean, you know, have a problem, man. You know? So let's bring our claim forward and see how it goes. Yeah, man, but we don't necessarily have to play with that administrative bureau. So let's see how we can afford the court of jurisdiction to go to that administrative ability. And just like all these guys are going to be in the next I'm not going to bring a claim against them. You know? arrest and false imprisonment. And see how they handle it. Now that we have them in Jamaica, people will tell us they want. You know that East Mill deal is a railroad. I don't know what they are doing. Do they know me have a platform and if they are disrespectful or out of them, they will be able to do it. Only way we can get it. No other way. We never ever can get physical records. So you know, we have to do our way out. Think about it. Yeah, man. So the only thing we can do is mock them and ridicule them. Leave it right here. Outside of that, we just deal with them paperwork. All me I say is this. Just show me the authority that you get from anybody to break the law. Yeah, man. So if you have lost that clear, then there's no disclosure. You know you can have them function as an agent. Yeah, man. In administrative capacity. So with all the first judge, who I don't know her name, I don't want to say this name now, and it's not her. I really can't do that. But he, he would say disqualified for herself. Uh, she wasn't fair and impartial. Yeah. So like everybody came up and gang up on you. When the judge said that she expressed that this is what's going on, and you know, blah, 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 blah. So now I tell us about her introduce herself, and then I tell us some cases such and such. And prosecutor here, wait, 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 she now don't know that. So if I tell you, plead guilty or not guilty, innocent. You can't plead innocent, it's not a different. Oh, so you yeah, tell me how to plead? So 
that's why I know so boy you know and I know real law you uh, can't tamper with a witness and if the policeman has seen document I say I'm a, I'm a witness then I am just that a witness you understand and I as witness attest yeah man and yeah handwritten testimony yeah man and the same basic thing, you know, we are so on our charity. Yeah. You understand? You know, have none, you know, we can't present none. You know, the Constitution, you know, which is the Supreme Law of the Nation, and we have no authority to do it. You know. Impossible. Charter of fundamental rights, whether that is secure or us and everything. No, I want to toss the law aside. I create my own thing and call them agency employees, such as the, you know, resident magistrate, you know, give them title as judge. It's only administrative law judge, it's a title. Resident, it's a title. Parish court judge, it's a title. They are far away removed from the area but on our way for that mix up everything like is a stew because everybody hands are in the position because you were trained this way you know what I mean you maintain that training whether it's right or wrong you don't care it's a training or you know no better It is interesting, I do details. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up there now and talk about this anyway. And then this is one of them. Yeah. It's a late night calling. Give thanks out there.